Good morning, everyone. It's Coach Tam checking in from Charlotte, North Carolina. And today I want to answer a question that I've gotten about how come I am making all these changes, Coach Tam, but I'm still not seeing the results that I was hoping to see in my midsection. So I'm talking about that abdominal region. We want it to be nice and flat so that we look really great in our clothes. So today I want to talk about three culprits that could be getting in the way of you seeing the results that you want to see. And then I'm going to give you some action items and talk to you about um, some next steps. Okay. So the first culprit is overeating healthy foods. Now, sometimes when I say that people are like, well, how could it be possible that I'm eating all the right things, but I'm still eating too much? Well, believe it or not, portion control still matters even when you're eating fruits and vegetables, for example, even when you're eating the, late, the lean proteins and seafood, portion control still matters. Secondly, I can be eating mostly healthy foods, but there can be points in my week where I really get off track. So if I'm overeating the not so healthy foods and I'm doing it too often, then that can cause me to not see the results that I want to see in my midsection. Um, and then the last culprit that I'll cover is just eating too much of two critical uh, things that you will be able to identify. And I'll talk about how you do that. Too much fat and too much sugar. Okay. So it's not just what you eat, but how much of it you eat and how often you eat it. So here are your action items to help you. If you want to continue to see better results in your midsection, here's what I need you to do. The first thing is to start to read food labels. And the two things that I want you to start paying close attention to are the amount of fat in that particular item and the amount of sugar. Those are the two things that can really work against us when we're trying to lose weight and really get that nice flat ab and that toned look that we're looking for. The second thing that I need you to do is to start watching your portions. So one of the ways that you can do this is to start keeping a food diary. And that's something that we sometimes don't want to do because we don't want to take the time and put the energy in doing it. But the studies consistently show that those that track their food intake tend to get the best results. So there are some apps that you can use out there like MyFitnessPal and Lose It that will help you do this. Uh, they'll help you get an idea of how many calories you should be eating a day. Um, there are some things that may not be perfect in that process, but it'll at least get you directionally sound. Um, and it's a, if you can manage to that calorie target, watch the fat and sugar, you will see better results. So let's talk about some next steps. So I want you to continue to watch this series because I'm gonna come back with some more tips that can help you improve in this area. This was just one piece, this was just part one. So make sure that you, if you haven't already, you like my page. Um, share it with other friends in your community that you know could benefit from this information. And if you have specific questions that you'd like me to answer about this, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer that in a future video. You can also get more tips at my website at www.265point.com. Have a great day and God bless.